Welcome to the ultimate survivor where I'll take on the island, Scorched Earth, Aberration, Extinction, Genesis Part 1 and Genesis Part 2. All on hardcore mode and try and defeat them all in concession with the least amount of deaths. Let's get into it. Hey yo, what is up you gorgeous people? Welcome back to the Ultimate Survivor today. I've been hunting, I've been hunting for some sabers. Now we've got a 130 male down here, which is the one I'm probably gonna pick up. I did notice another one over here that I don't know the level. He's hiding, hiding behind this rock. He's pretty cool colors, but I don't think he'd be high level. Yeah, 15, garbage, need another, he was here on there. But we're gonna go this 130 to breed with she -Ra. I've been hunting for Baryonyxes, just had no luck for them, and so I decided to hunt for, oh, oh my god, I, can, I completely missed that, are you kidding? We'll land here. He's not gonna be able to hit me. I'm just gonna get my stand back up. Okay, we're gonna try and pick this boy up. Because remember, she was a 135 team. So this will be our Diego, basically. Now we're gonna fly this back to base before it decides to decimate. Um, good old hard carry. Yeah, hard carry's got 5k plus health, so it's we should be sweet. We should be sweet to get this guy out. Um, yeah, so we're gonna knock this boy out, tame him, and then we're gonna breed him with uh she -Ra. And that shall be my cave tame, hopefully. I wouldn't mind getting like a really good saber saddle that gives me more defense. And then next episode, hopefully we'll take on our first cave. Get our first artifact. It'll be pretty sick. We're heading towards being able to take on the bosses. So I do have plans for each boss. So each boss I'm gonna use a separate like slap team. Um, I will do them all on gamma, beta and alpha. So I'll do all three and then take on the tech cave and the overseer, which I don't remember if it has the gamma, beta, alpha levels for the overseer or can I can just do it in the alpha level. Because I might just do it in the alpha level because there's no point in me doing it in all three and just dragging the whole section on and just do the 10k and the um, overseer and alpha. Hopefully it'll die and then we go to Scorched Earth. I really need to work on my base. I'm now thinking about it. We're flying over. The base has got no work done to it and I would like it to look half decent at the end of the episode. Because I'm going to take over that whole pond area as well. I'm going to have a little farm, I think, for kibbles. Because I'm going to be using kibble to tame like Rexes for um, Mega Pimpicus. Megatheriums and all that, so I'll be getting everything I need to tame. I start doing kibble, so I might build up a kibble farm area and everything. So, okay, this guy's gonna go in this trap here. Yeah, you can't get out of there, sucker. Even though, like, in real, in literal real terms, that thing should be able to run out of that. <laughs> like, the saber should be able to run out of that gap. He's skinny enough to it. A die wolf can, as I learned, because I found a 150 die wolf and tried to. I was like, oh, I might knock this thing out. I chucked it in, then I ran out, and I went, I can't be stuffed. Because <laughs> I'm not going to use them. So I don't want to really waste time knocking something that I can't use out. So let's knock this boy out. Um, we're going to trank him. So. Headshot, boy. Just don't look away from me. What are you doing, huh? Oh, no, 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 don't follow. Don't, no, no, no. Oh, that could have turned out real bad. You land. You don't follow. Oh, that was a body shot. I wanted the headshot, boy. Can't be wasting too many tranks on you. Eat out cold. And now I do have some pri raw prime meat, I think, on hard carry here. Yeah, I have a shit ton, actually. I can probably split that stack in half. I have a lot of meat on you, so that's going to come in handy. And we'll put this in our Jaeger. Oh, he's got, like, blue stripes. I just Oh, I like those stripes. I want those. I want the blue stripes on Saber. Like, I want those. My bread Saber. Now, now I don't know if I'm going to do, like, a full breeding thing where I get a couple mutation lines and get, like, an attack up a bit. I might do. But then I kind of want to... It is a cave team, so I might not. I don't know. I, I generally... I'm going to breed up a couple. I think I might try and breed so I get, like, one mutation, maybe. Then again, I'm only going to be... I, I would... If I was going to do that, I was going to, I would be needing more females. I have a lot of stuff in you, so that... I've been killing a lot of things, as you can see. The amount of bloody raw meat hard carry here is carrying, it, it's absurd. I just noticed this. I need myself a feeding trough here. I actually don't have a feeding trough. That's that's absolutely phenomenal. I, I'm, I'm a genius. Um, let's go to the taming list. Let's put you there. Now, the one thing I did notice while we're hunting around is now on the mountain that I normally go for metal, there's a kicker up there. So that's a bit scary. That motherfucker's probably gonna chop with me at some point. I need to get some metal quickly so I can make this um, feeding trough. So we have a feeding trough here. I do need one, so that means I'm not having to worry about stuff. So we're gonna let him tame up. Oh, he's gonna it real quick so i'm just gonna fly over the mountain get a quick little metal get a little quick metal you know what i mean without dying but yeah I, I was looking for berries I've, I've done multiple and i mean multiple sweeps of killing berries sabers the whole lot of them that was like the highest level i could find and it's just getting to the point where i'm like i want to get an episode out i can't be spending more time looking for a um really really high level i'm like okay one i can it's hot it's a good level like 130 is pretty good with a 135 breathing together 
maybe I get some mutations done, maybe I can spend some time and actually make an ultimate saber. Maybe I'll get lucky and the first one I breed is a female and then I can breed that with um, Diego. <laughs> Most of breeding. <laughs> ah, I love Ark, bro. <laughs> the amount of inbreeding you do in Ark, it's, it's, it's terrible. Just let me get some quick little metal here. So we're gonna head back to base. We'll make a feeding trough. We'll fill that up with some meat and all that. Grab our new saber tooth called Diego. It's gonna be called Diego from Ice Age. So I think next episode, yeah, 100% first cave. I think I know which one I'm gonna be taking on. The artifact it was in that cave, but it's the one that's kind of down for the, in that open area between the volcano and that mountain over there. There's that one there. I think I'm gonna take that one up. So yeah, we'll see what we can do here. This might be, this episode might be split into two parts of me breeding and taming. So we've already got the tame already, so I'll make this feeding trough. I need to actually work on the base, so I might do those in a couple episodes where I actually do like a full, like I might do some resource runs off camera because I cannot be stuffed doing it. I'll come grab you in a second, brother. I'll do some resource runs off camera to get all the wood stone and all that stuff so I can make sure this base is beasting. I have like a really cool idea. Uh, I might have the spike wall, that whole top section, just in case something bad decides to rock up there and just be like, oh, I'm going to drop down from up here. Doesn't look like they will. I don't think anything comes up here. Let's make our feeding trough and then we'll grab Diego and we'll breed them for the first time. Now I want to put the feeding trough in an area that's less I'm um, not I'm not gonna build on and it's just there and it should cover the whole base. So I'm thinking next to the shrine of Vina, put in there. Speed here should have me a bunch of berries. So thank you for that. And we will put those in the feeding trough. Goodbye to you. And then we're gonna run over back. We'll get the meat from hard carry in a second. But we're gonna uh we'll take the we'll just take the 970. That should be a lot of meat, bro. That should be a lot of meat. Then go in there. I should put everything away so we're all set up and ready to do some stuff that organic polymer can go in there. I did get a Mastercraft wooden club, which is kind of nice because I'm going to use that to get some organic polymer when I need it. So let's get ourselves Diego. So we're just going to pick him out of the thing. Get rid of that little taming thing because that's going to pee me off. 194. So basically, uh, I don't know what level um, our Shiro would have came out of. So I think it, they just it needs to be over 194 above. So we're gonna name him because now I have no clue what I'll be naming my actual the one I want to use. So you two need to breed. Behavior enable mating. Behavior enable mating. Mate. I will pick up your shit. What did you get? 337 attack. I haven't bumped up Shiro's. Uh, I think I bumped up a bit. So she had more. Melee, I think. I'd prefer to get the health from. See, this is when I need the soul terminal so I can see what their base stats like. Wait, 324? That's not a bad way. And give me that lot. Now, let's prime me. I'm just gonna split it all. Alright, we can now saber tape. Diego and Shiro are gonna breed me a beast. So I might keep the original one and then I might breed up a family. I'm not sure if I wanna do a bunch of mutations for this. Because I'm still gonna hunt for a Baryonyx because I'm gonna use the Baryonyx to help me get the um, Pestilosaurus and stuff like that. So I do need a Baryonyx. Okay, so seven minutes for gestation. There's not much else I can actually, I could probably wait. I'm not gonna stand here and wait. I might go for a stone run. Wait, how much stone do you have? 35. I really need to start, like, I might start laying out my base maybe. I don't know. I don't have much stone to be honest. So I might do a little stone run while I'm waiting. So I'm probably gonna cut this out. So don't worry about it. Um, I'll see you guys when the... Um, the app. Blah, 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 blah. What? Uh, oh, that's right. I was going to name the Dodic. I forgot. In the last episode, uh, a viewer. Uh, frick, I completely forget you. Actually, gave me a name for the Dodicarus. Named after a Pokemon, too, which is nice. Um, so we're going to name her. So Sandshrew. So that's Sandshrew. I forgot I forgot about that naming, naming her. So we're going to go for a wood run, uh, stone run quickly. And then, yeah, I'll be back. Ooh, 20 seconds to go until she gets buffed. The first, the sabers. I want that blue. I want that, I want that, like, the, it's like a purple, bluey purple. I don't know. I want that on the, this team. Now, I probably might breed a couple more. I might breed up a little bit, but where is it? Hey, where's the baby? Where's the bushes? Oh, there. Oh my god, look at it! Look at the colors! Why is she up there? I don't know why. Come this way. Let me give me some, let me give you some food. Let me give you some food. Oh, you can take all of that? Oh, you're gonna mature real quick. Come here, come here. Come this way, come this way. Oh, I was wondering where it was. I got a mutation with the first imprint. Uh, first baby. What do you mean? Oh, my, my rates might be a little bit higher. It's maturing quite fast. Look at it though. It's so gorgeous. It's so pretty. The yellow. Why did it get... 
I don't get why I got that color. Like, that's definitely a, um, no, I got no, it did get a random mutation. It got a random mutation on this side, which means we already got a mutation, which is absolutely sick. There's, uh, I don't know what kind of mutation it would have got. So what's their movement speed? What's yours? 132. 132. I'm just trying to figure out what attack damage did you get? 357.8. That might be what yours was. 630 oxygen. So that's your oxygen. Who's got this? What stam did you get? 900 stam. So you got the stam of she which is what I wanted. Food, 4830. So. The food is in between. What? I'm, I'm confused about that one. Well, I, the fact that I got a mutation first pop, that's sick. I love the color too. Oh god, I'm definitely gonna be breeding that color in. If I'm gonna do more breeding. Oh my god. She needs care in a minute 50, so you can stay there. That is absurd. To get. Oh, the yellow. That is absolutely. Oh my god. You are sick. I had 357.8%. I don't think. I think you got. I don't think. I don't know what the melee damage was on this one originally. But I don't think it was that high. Oh, it could have been. I don't. I just don't know what, which, which, which part I would have got the. Um, we just got its mutation. 332 on the weight. Because originally I wasn't going to use this saber for breeding, but I, and so I lifted up a bit. Num dum dum. I might have to get my soul terminal going and stuff so I can actually check where the mutation is, like and all that stuff. But I should be able to make one. Okay, let's get this drop while that before they need to care again, and then or oh, needs to care for the first time. Oh wait, I, I do. The fact I got mutation first pop is insane. Oh god, are you kidding? Bro, what is with these drops and being absolute dookie? Like just straight hot trash. I think I'm just gonna call it. I don't know what to even call it. Okay, wh what kind of care do you need? Um, what's going on? Walk with you. That is perfectly fine. Come this way. Come, come, come. Come on. Please give me the imprinting. Thirty-three point three percent. Okay, come this way. I don't know if I'm gonna get a full imprint on this thing because I might have just missed the time by being too slow. I might just use this one to be honest. I might end up breeding them on later on, but I feel like this one's just gonna be good. The fact that I've got a um a mutation first pop, which is sick. The colors on it, I just love the yellow. I don't know why. Like she, why? You're so cool. <laughs> My God, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's a beautiful little baby. Uh, I'm just hoping I don't have my maturation rates too high. Because I have it set so you can get, like, uh, I'm just hoping I get perfect imprinting. I might have missed because I went and got the drop instead of just being in a, a, like, a patient fool and waiting for her to be in print before I did that. So I might have scuffed myself there. I'm just hoping it doesn't need kibble. I will need a saber saddle for you, too. Big ass is stomping around my base. Oh, we got Calithotheriums in here now? What the hell? Both dookie level. I uh, probably would never use them. I just hear this doof, doof, doof. I'm like, oh, no. Don't tell me there's something that's trying to scale these walls and ruin my breeding. This girl's definitely going to be my cave team for the moment. I just love the... I got, I got like, a... I don't, that's a yellowy green or something? It's like, it's a yellow, right? Wait, can I make, I need to make the, um, do I have everything to make that? I do have everything to make a soul terminal. Do I have enough to make a soul gun? I can make a soul gun. Can I make 20 of these? Okay, we can get, get soul balls now. So now I can probably, um, yeah, I'm gonna be using this a lot. Oh, uh, I, I don't know why I grabbed the soul terminal, made the soul terminal yet, because one, I haven't made my base, so I'm not gonna be putting it down anywhere yet, so that can just go in the, uh, <laughs> in here. You can go chill in there. Now that I have you, you can go over there. Let's see what Diego oh, and Shira's stats are. So she got, uh, so I put points into, I put six points into melee. So he got 26 points and she got 29 points into melee. He got 31 into movement speed. 22 into, but the movement speed, movement speed points are useless. 31 into weight, 33 into weight, okay. 23 into food, 28 into food, 20, 32 into oxygen, 29 into oxygen, 35 into stem, and 25 into health, and 26 into health. So colors, so they got three color regions. It's like the gray, similar gray. Nice little ghetto ghetto. Okay, I, I think I'll be able to get a full imprint. I'm looking at it. Three minutes and 57 seconds, full imprint. Let's go, it's so good. I'm sorry, I'm getting really excited over a full team because like mutations are cool. And I haven't done much, got much mutations before because I haven't really played this game. I've played it a decent amount, but I never went into the whole breeding thing. And now the reason I'm using the soul traps and the this, okay, now you don't need anything until Three minutes thirty, so I can go check out this blue drop without maybe missing my imprint. Okay, 
I need this fully imprinted. It's going to be nice as well. So we get the imprint buff. It's going to mutation. I don't know what line the mutation's on. So I, th I don't know if it'll be a good mutation. Rip. I'm just over these drops. Like, I, I miss the Genesis 2 drops. Whenever I play on the island, I miss the Genesis 2 drops and how OP they are. Sometimes it drops on here, just like abysmal. So once she's ready for like the next care, I'm hoping, I'm actually hoping I can get this full imprint on her. The colors are just insane. I'm just looking at the time, it's gonna be close. So I'm hoping it's not like I need to feed or anything. So I'm just gonna have her grab that. I might just have to blow me at the end. Hopefully it's nothing. Hopefully it's just a cuddle or a walk again. Like I can hopefully get it. I want to get that full imprint because that melee damage is already at 490% with the 67% imprint. So it's still a night, like, I just want that full imprint. So I think I will actually be able to get the full imprint, which is nice. Okay, and my settings are fine. I've got it in a way so, like, you can get a full imprint and it's like you're not waiting freaking 10 years till afterwards. I'm not gonna lie, I, I just don't have time. As a content creator, you don't, I don't have time for the official rates. To sit there and breed for ages. And I know the pain of that, like, this, I'm trying to upload is with three days a week diego shira you have given me a beautiful child i love both of you thank you for this <laughs> fuck i lied the yellow is absolutely sick it's like a yellow cat i think of a pokemon like, like a fire pokemon that really gets like um it's a cat but it's shiny yellow similar to this and i'm thinking of calling her that well see you've got the line it's like a starter line gen 7 if you know what i'm talking about you got litten tor cat and then whatever the fucking final cat uh, thing is incineroar i don't think i'm calling it incineroar but i might call it tor cat call it tor cat or litten i think litten would be fucking cool though just like little, my litten my litten she my litten 42 seconds left on the last care i'm hoping it's nothing like pl just please don't be a kibble like please just be like feed it something that I can get in the matter of seconds, not freaking kibble, because I have no kibble at the moment. I do need to get onto it and build like a kibble farm before I start taming like um, the stuff. I will be breeding up a lot for the um, the boss fights, which I will be doing a lot of breeding and a lot of that probably off camera. Oh, I'm excited! I'm excited. She's so this thing is absolutely sick. What you got? What you got? What you got? Let's go with walk with you. Come, 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 walkies, walkies, walkies. We go walkies. Come on, come on. Come on, Vorkies, come on. Let's go, that should be a full imprint. Let's go! Oh, the health, the, the melee damage from a full imprint, though. Dude! 556%, we're gonna pump out. We're probably gonna go for a killing spree with her. Let's go, she is gorgeous. And I think I'm gonna call it my shiny look she's my shiny look i think the thing is you'll probably notice that i will be naming a lot of things pokemon because pokemon is like one of my favorite games of all time we need a saber tooth saddle now i need another saber tooth saddle and then i need to unload wait you gotta make is it in here you gotta make the saber tooth saddle and saber saber tooth saddle i don't have enough hide huh huh well i do give me a second let me just uh yeah i got a lot of hide <laughs> i got a lot of hide i'm never running out of hide let's just go boom 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 i wish i had like a better one like an actual a like a ram shackle or something like a bit of stat thing but okay she's fully why is it going on fucking no she's ready she's ready to rule the bloody lands i might have to go kill some things with her give me the saber to saddle um we're gonna put that on her and then we're gonna check her stats see like kind of see if we can guess where the mutation is because i'm pretty sure you can do it with the um soul gun thing uh let me just do that i'm just gonna put this extra meat that i have into the feeding trough here. So two, so I think yeah, Shiro was two hundred one. Diego is one nine four, and then we got a two hundred three. No, yeah, the yellow bro, twenty nine into melee, not bad. Thirty three into weight, twenty five into thing, twenty two into movement speed, uh, twenty five into food, thirty two into things. Stamina is thirty five, twenty six into health. Let me do a comparison. Diego got twenty six into melee. They got twenty nine. All right, so let's have a check. So we can see what points. So. I got the melee damage from Shira, which is what I wanted. The movement speed is 22, which I think is the same as Shira. Okay, um, the weight is the same as Shira. Food is 25. Oh, uh, so I've got a food mutation because I would have got the food from um, Diego here, but then I, got, I think it's a mutation on food because oxygen is 32, which is that one. Stamina is 35, which is Shira's. Health is 26, which is uh, Diego's. 
So basically, I got a food mu- I, I, I got a food <laughs> mutation on her. Not like I wanted mutation, but still, I do love the color on her. Change name. We're calling it lip just because of the yellow. I think I fucking love it. She looks amazing. So we're going to be pumping up that health a bit. Oh, she fast, bro. Look, dude, she fast. Woohoo. That's right, the imprinting, man, imprinting is legendary shit. So we're gonna be pumping up their health up a bit and then pump up their melee damage and we're just gonna go to town with the, uh... Okay, let's go kill some things, eh? Let's go decimate this turtle. Let's have a fight with this turtle. Let's see how much damage we can do. Litton here should be able to destroy this turtle. 209 damage! This turtle can't do shit. Dead turtle. Yeah, we're definitely gonna pump her health up a bit. I don't know, I think we might go to 5k health and then we'll pump up the melee a bit as well so we can just, like, one-hit shit. Let's take out these parasols here, come here. Just two hit that one. Come here. Another one. The health of the bit. Yeah, we'll go to 5k health and then we'll pump up. Yeah. Litten's definitely gonna be our. Oh my god! She is stunning. Dude, dude. I love her. I, 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 the, yeah, I don't care as a food mutation. Like, what level are you? I feel like I can completely decimate you. Oh, I can. I, I can. Kill you too. Fucking two hit you, boy. Come here. Yeah, we we'll kill you all, boys. Lynn here is a absolute animal. Yeah, we got 5k health and then we'll pump it up. Uh, that melee up like a thousand or something. I don't need a pump weight at all. The fact that I can use a shotgun from the back of this is good. I would need a pump shotgun, but I can't make one of those right now. Let me just harvest these. No, I, yo, beaver. Can... Dead beaver, let's go. Where's that moss chop? I saw him. Right, yeah, little shit. We're getting it too. Come here. Come here. You did. Everything's dying today. Let me just sideswipe you all, boy. Now it's at 5k health. Let's pump up that melee a bit more. I might go to 10k health, to be honest. This is <laughs> Yo, I'm so happy with it. I'm actually so happy with it. Now, there was a beaver dam in here somewhere that I haven't seen. It's right there. Now, I know there was two beavers. I don't really want to go... No, no, we don't want to go swimming with you. We should just steal the, um... Steal the cementing paste from that. Quite happy with our litten. The fact that we got a mutation, it just sucks. If it was a melee mutation or like a health mutation instead of a food mutation, I would have been just like over the extra over the moon. But I do love her colors, and that she's fully imprinted. So I do want to go on a killing spree a little bit, but I don't want to get that 192 movement speed is disgusting. She moves, bro. She moves. Let's find some more things to kill without Leo Litton here. Oh, hello, turtle. What are you doing in this pathway? Let me just. So much hide. Okay, let's keep going. What's out here? Who, who can go decimate? Where are we out here? The dodos. Quack. Peasants. Little peasants. One hit you. One hit you. <laughs> dodos must all die. <laughs> Come here, Dilo. Two hit the Dilo. Gone. Six hundred percent melee damage. Let go. Uh, okay, this Kano. I must level check before I decide to fight. Oh, and level five. You're going bye bye. You're going bye bye too. Come on. You're both going bye bye. Come here. Now, the thing is, normally I would try and take down a Stego with this thing, but like, Stego is a crack scary. I just one hit that thing, bro. Oh, more things to murder. I want to come kill you. Diplodocus. Dead. Oh, come here. I'll start hitting for like 400. Die. Die. Yeah. A compi? Dead compi. Iguanodon? If 100 Iguanodon? Eh, whatever. Dead Iguanodon. Oh, hello, Terrabid. Piece of shit. I've got another one on me. Oh, oh, God. Can you... She... Litten! Litten! Jesus. I know it. Kano down. Come here. My scorpion. Die. Let's get that melee up even more, boy. Damn. Litten doing the work. I'm so happy with her. Like, that's it. We're going caving next episode. Come here, Terror Bird. Just hit you for 260. Anyone else want a piece of this? I saw the pack of raptors. Now, fighting a pack of raptors is just not asking. It's asking for death. But this scorpion can get it. Come here, boy. Let me just get the jump on you. Quack. Two hit ya. Yo, Dodic. 
wipe you from the face of the earth. Get out of here. Ooh, what's that? What's that? Is that RG? Does RG want to go? Yo, does RG want to go? Yo, come here, bro. Let me just whack. Come on. Come here. Let me just whack you. Come on. Come on. Dead. Level 100. Hey! Oh, you get a little heal on you. Oh, you little shit. Come here. Yeah. Okay. Both level 100. Damn. Let's get that. Let's get that melee up, dog. <laughs> oh, Rex. Hello. What level is this Rex? He's pretty cool colors. 80. Do you think we can fight the Rex right now? Probably. Probably not smart. I can outrun him though. So if it gets if it gets a little bit too dicey, we could do that. Do you know what? Let me definitely take this on. We should just. Let's just try and heal her up, eh? Come out, come out, come out, I wanna take it on. I wanna defeat this Rex with Litten. Cause she's amazing. And she gotta do some damage. Today. Here we go, we got four and a half AKH. I might go to 10 HP to be honest. Sup fam. Good boy. Oh, you, 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 you piss weak! Yeah, level 80 Ricks, my ass! Dead! Look at that! Die! <laughs> oh, hell yeah. That Rex got what it was coming from. Absolutely destroyed him. Let him be, let him be different, boy! <laughs> like, the amount of damage this thing can ta just do is absurd. 800% damage now, boy! I think she's nearly ready. I do want to get some more levels before we go take on the cave in the next episode, which will be at the end of the week, actually, because you have a Genesis Part 2 episode in between. Yeah, I think I'm going to pump the health up to 6k, or, like, probably 8k and get 1,000 melee damage. I think that's going to be the go-to. But, yeah, 100%, this thing is hitting some levels. I'm just going to wipe a bunch of things off the face of the planet of the Earth. Oh, there's some sabers over here. Should I show them who's the superior saber? It's only level 15, so let me go in here. Yo, you guys want to fight? Dead. Dead. Oh, you want to fight too, RG? Did me, bro. Did me. Oh, God. Anything that comes in sight is just getting sideswiped. They're like, bang. 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 Alright, so guys, hope you've had a fantastic time enjoying this episode of The Ultimate Survivor. I'm going to head out now. We've got our Litten, we've got the Tame, we've got the amazing Saber. Litten is going to be our cave Tame. She's going to run through caves like nobody's business, hitting people with massive amounts of damage. I'll probably hopefully get that health up and it will melee up a little bit off camera a bit more. And I'll see you guys in the next The Ultimate episode of The Ultimate Survivor. Make sure to leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe if you're brand new. We're on the road to 2,000 subs. I'll see you guys then. Peace out.